Hi, this is Leah from Blue Whale Art Studio, and today we're going to make a gift box or a container or a storage container from a soda bottle. The supplies you're going to need is a soda bottle, of course, Coca-Cola works the best, marker or identipen, utility knife, scissors, popsicle, rubbing alcohol, and a piece of paper towel. Those last three are optional. So here's one that I'm just opening up. I've already cut it so that you can take a peek at it. And it's just a very simple container. First thing we're going to do is take a utility knife. And on the soda bottles, there's a band where the label goes. And you're going to cut just at the bottom of the band. And you can take the paper off, but you don't have to because you can tell. And you're just going to simply cut across. It doesn't need to be perfect. Um, just try to go as even as you can, but it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to be trimming the edges at the very end. These containers are really great. Um, I filled some up for Christmas for my niece and nephews and uh, with candy. So now that this is all taken care of here, now we're going to be cutting the slit the slots um, to make the divisions and you'll see on the coke bottles it's really nice they have these lines that are already pre-molded on there and you're going to mark every other line you're going to use I marked once I figured out the sweet spot of where you have to cut because if you cut too low you're not your bottle won't snap close and it won't stay shut and so here I um, once I figured out where that sweet spot was I took a popsicle stick and I marked and it's about one and three quarters inches down where the sweet spot is. And when I say sweet spot, it's right where the curve of the um, the curve starts to happen on the bottle. And when you look at one, you'll be able to to see it. So I've marked every other slot, and now I'm just going to go ahead and cut down to the point where I marked. I saw these at a very large amusement park and I couldn't believe what they were selling them for. They actually took some uh, tissue paper and glued on the outside to make it more decorative. Now I'm taking the alcohol with the paper towels and I'm just taking off the marker that, where I marked each one. And I'm doing a quick test to make sure my cut is correct. If you don't cut down far enough, it won't lock into place. And if you don't, um, if you cut too far, it won't lock into place. But once you know that spot, it works perfect. Now I'm just going to go ahead and trim up the edges and put a little curve on them. And I'm going to do that for all of the five pieces that fold down so that they are more decorative. I like them as storage containers as well because they're clear you can see what's in them and it makes it a real nice way to store especially smaller items. Um, you can see in the photo I've got some with some beads and some wooden balls in it. Um, I have another one that I put some tissue paper in that I can make it into a gift box. And I'm just folding it all down and you're done. You have a gift box and it's ready to go. Now you can ask your friends and family to save their soda bottles for you. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for joining me at Blue Whale Art Studio. Please don't forget to check out our website at www.bluewhalearts.com. Sign up for our newsletter, like us on Facebook, and follow us on YouTube. Have a wonderful day crafting. Thank you.